treatment and uh, having pain in abdomen now just quick scan of the abdomen solid viscera appear ok uh, here in the right side of the abdomen in the right lumbar region and right alephos I am finding that bowel loop is inflamed so switching on to uh, the linear probe Now, when I come to the right eye left I see the terminal ileum and ileocecal junction. If we take a note, the fat around the cecum and the ascending colon, I am now going up, is inflamed, is looking inflamed. So, looking at the fat is very important. Now, the thickness of the wall, if I see, around 4.4 .4. so normal thickness is 3 mm of the colon the wall is thick and now let us have a look at the uh, gut signature or the layers of the wall so obviously what I am seeing is the mucosal layer, muscularis mucosa, the submucosa is quite uh, echogenic and then there is muscularis propria. And this continues upwards So the gut signature is present, it's not that it is completely obliterated, uh, but it is uh, altered in the sense that we uh, see that the submucosa which is echogenic is quite thickened and then we put on the power doppler, uh, we see that the vascularity is present in the loop. When we look at the wall, we can also look for any signs of ulceration uh, within the wall and when we look at the fat surrounding the colic, we can see for any abscess formation or any fistula uh, formation or whether there are any liponecrotic tracts within the fat. These liponecrotic tracts will appear as linear uh, anechoic uh, serpentine uh, structures which may herald the development of fistula uh, in cases of Crohn's. Now here the terminal ileum is uh, looking quite of normal thickness and the gut signature is also uh, maintained here but I can see that there are some lymph nodes in the uh, right iliac fossa in the pericecal region so when I measure the again I will see them in transverse as well as longitudinal plane to be sure that they are lymph nodes so rather than looking like almond shape they are looking like olive shape or spherical so definitely they are in flame nodes and if we look at the AP AP uh, or the short axis diameter so the normal cutoff of a adult is 5 where so it is 5.5 .5. definitely it is Perical, mildly enlarged. Again, the mesenteric fat in the right eye for size 
hypogenic and inflamed. So there is inflammation here, and it is quite a long segment reaching up to the level of the hepatic flexure. Kiti do sa pasun tras hai? Bar. Khandas kashi hota hai? Kata hota hai. So again, uh, we uh, we are trying to narrow the differential diagnosis. So again, stratified versus non-stratified. So here, although it is stratified, the submucosa is prominent, and uh, so the differential diagnosis for stratified would be. Uh, ileocecitis, another in small intestine if the stratification is maintained that is uh, enteritis, then uh, hemorrhage, hemorrhage within the bowel that can cause a significant thickening of the submucosa like we are seeing here, but then there has to be a history of anticonvulsants or uh, a purpura which is obviously not in this case. And uh, then we have uh, early Crohn's. So, and also So in this case, uh, although I am I am tempting to be uh, uh, going for ileos uh, ileos uh, for uh, cecal and uh, colonic colitis and uh, cecitis uh, infection like Yersinia, uh, but since there is a history of uh, tuberculosis, and uh, I would not exclude out a tuberculosis because here they say that anything and everything can be TB. So you cannot exclude TB, although um, I would like to follow this patient up and have a re-scan after antibiotic trial, uh, but definitely this can be a tuberculosis also given the history and the presence of nodes. All the nodes can also be seen in uh, inflammation of uh, this. But uh, one important thing in uh, differential uh, that you should consider is the peribowel uh, fat. Now in uh, ileocecitis and all, uh, 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 colitis, uh, the peribowel inflammation may not be this much as it is seen here. Uh, so again, uh, one point which is going in favor of tuberculosis. So it is like this. Thank you.